Jim. I cannot believe this. I have just learned that Clark County has got a whole bunch of freeloaders. Can you believe this? I pay my taxes, and these people are trying to freeload off of me. I whoa, hate whoa, whoa, that. Whoa, 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 Freeloaders? You mean free holders? Free holders, Gary. This is like a big deal in the election world. They're actually having an election of free holders that are going to recraft a county charter. Like, it's a big, big deal. And it's free holders. Free holders, not free oh. loaders. Look at, look at. This is why we've got to do a Vancouver sight on it. That's why we've got to introduce ourselves as Gary Bach and Jim Maines and tell people that we're going to interview. Oh. Who are we going to interview? All right. So I'm Gary Bach. This is Jim Maines. Welcome to the Vancouver side, your video blog of everything north of the Columbia River. And this is a big deal of north of the Columbia River because we're going to have a freeholder election. And today on the Vancouver side, we're going to explain just what that is. Let's go check it All out. All right. <laughs> Of this freeholders thing all about Charter County freeholders it's, it's very confusing for a lot of people so we have uh, three commissioner districts in the county and each of those commissioner districts are going to have five freeholders so this November 5th every voter in this county is going to have a ballot receive a ballot with five freeholder positions on it. And there could be a multiple number of candidates for each of those positions. In fact, um, there could be a total of as many as 10 candidates for one of those positions. And then once those 15 people are elected, they will then have the responsibility or the, the authority to sit around and think about what a better form of government is for Clark County. Freeholder. Um, perhaps someone that, I don't, Right, perfect. <laughs> that would be. Hi. I have a question for you. Okay. What is a freeloader? A freeloader is someone that, like for instance, we're here that comes in and hang out and doesn't buy any coffee or buy anything from us. That's a freeloader. After the freeholders are elected and they meet and they begin discussing what they think about for a better form of government for Clark County. There are a number of common elements that are seen in the current six counties that are charter counties. Uh, those common elements include whether or not the, the number of commissioners should be increased. So in 1889, when our Washington State Constitution was put into effect, it created what's referred to as a statutory or code county, and that form of government has three county commissioners that have both the legislative and the executive powers. And in 1890, Clark County had approximately 11,000 people. Of course, today, uh, in 2013, we have almost 440,000 people. So one of the questions the freeholders will think about, do we want to continue to have three commissioners? Do we want to have increase that number to five, seven? Um, King County at one point had 13 county commissioners. Another common element you'll see uh, through these uh, charter counties is the uh, ability for local citizens, citizens at the local level, at the, at the county level, to petition their government for redress of grievances. Uh, so the initiative and referendum process is uh, something that the freeholders will also consider. The, uh, currently, our county commissioners, our uh, candidates are nominated from their district, but then elected countywide. And most of these charter counties, if not all of them, uh, have changed that so that their county commissioners, county council members, are nominated and elected at the district level. And then the uh, uh, another common theme in uh, at least five of these six charter counties is the creation of a separate branch of government so that um, currently the county commissioners which have both the policy making and the executive responsibility uh, an additional check and balance is placed at county level county government and by the creation of a separate branch of government that has the executive power and that's reflected in the, uh, uh, the county executive office. Hey, I got a question for you. What is it? What is a freeloader? Democrats. <laughs> I, I can imagine it would just be somebody that holds something in place of or a place marker for in or in behalf of another person or in proxy of another person. Excuse me. Yes. Do you know what a freeloader is? I sure do. What? There are the guys there in Washington, the Republicans. What do you know? Well, this week has been kind of a busy week, especially with the primary going on. We have had freeholders come in and file. We've had about 105 filings so far. 
There are some races that have 10 and 11 candidates in each race, so it's been pretty busy. We've had a few folks withdraw and a few folks that have withdrawn and refiled into other positions. So exciting times here at Clark County Elections. Think about this, I think a freeholder, isn't that somebody that never pays for anything? No, that's a freeloader. Freeloader, okay. Free holder. I thought it was the same. <laughs> Mine. Yeah. So tell us, what do you think a freeholder is? A freeholder is going to be a member of a committee that will help determine the makeup of uh, the Clark what County Commissioners. Okay. So what's the question? So a freeloader. What is a freeloader? None of your damn business. <laughs> All right. So a wonderful thing about this freeholder process is that we have a large number of people who are engaged in it. Uh, our government works better the more people who are involved. And with more than 100 people who have filed as freeholder candidates, probably well in excess of 100 people by the end of business today, Friday, August 9th, there are a lot of people who are interested in making a change in our government. And I applaud all those people who have filed candidates, and um, this can be a fascinating fall. Wow, Gary, it's amazing what we learned today on the freeholder piece. No kidding. I can't believe we're actually looking at completely remaking the way Clark County does business. It is just simply amazing to see the people that are engaged. I mean, we've got the seats, we've got the election. I mean, it's just going to be crazy out there. Over 100 people running for just 15 positions. Now, that's what I call public involvement. <laughs> you can say that. Hey, thank you for tuning into the Vancouver side today, your video blog of everything north of the Columbia River. I'm Gary Bach. And this is Jim Maines. We'll see you next time. stuff. Maybe you should think about running. Oh, Gary.